What's up, YouTube? So, before the video starts, I just wanted to say something. So, I got a comment on my last video, and the person was like, the smoking ad at the beginning of the video is making me want to unsubscribe. Bruh. The only reason I say all that stuff is so YouTube won't be on my behind, so I don't get age-restricted, and so I don't um get any strikes. Because I don't know if that person knew, but, like, when I first started this channel, I was getting strike after strike after strike, and my channel almost got deleted. Yeah, so I don't want no more strikes on my channel, you know? I want to eventually, when I get enough subscribers, be able to possibly monetize this channel. So I want to do my best to follow community guidelines. That's why I put a disclaimer in front of the videos, y'all. I didn't know it would trigger people. I didn't know my disclaimer would trigger people. But, you know, at the same time, I can take constructive criticism. So if y'all don't want to hear me give a disclaimer, like, vocally, I can just write it out and put it on the screen for two minutes. But it's like, at the same time, if you don't like the disclaimer part, just skip through it. Like, the skip button is free to use. You can, like, tap your phone th 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 and skip through the disclaimer. But I just, I just got to put that there. Like, I'm not going to not put a disclaimer because... I want to follow YouTube community guidelines and you know if one day YouTube decides to look to my video look through my videos I don't want them to be like oh she's promoting dangerous stuff she's promoting smoking they won't be able to say that because I literally put a disclaimer in front of my videos because I don't know if they know the person who commented I don't know if they know how strict YouTube is these days but YouTube is very very strict these days there's a lot of stuff you can't say it's a lot of stuff you can't post. This isn't 2015 YouTube. But yeah. All that being said, you know, from now on, well, not from now, after this video, because I'm already doing a little chit chat, a little yap station talk, I might as well give a disclaimer and say, you know, I do not condone no smoking. I don't know the drill. This video is for people over 18. You know, smoke is bad for your health. Da 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 da. Please do not smoke. These are all stunts, you know. There got my little disclaimer. Do not smoke. But I'm choosing to do this because I'm of age. But yeah, the only reason I put them disclaimers, y'all, is because I get striked down. I get age restricted so quick. Because, like, y'all, look, I have a baby face. I'm over 21, but I look like I'm a minor, bro. So YouTube saw that immediately, and they targeted me. They targeted my little baby channel. Like, yes, I don't have that many subscribers, but I was targeted. So, yeah, that's why I put them disclaimers. From now on, I'll just put a written disclaimer, and y'all can click through it. You can even click through this. So yeah, I don't know why that was per that person was tripping, but I just had to address it. Like, I don't want to have to put these disclaimers in the video, but I do it so I can follow YouTube community guidelines and keep my channel. Because I don't want this channel to ever get deleted. This is my baby. Yeah, y'all. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. And yeah, if you don't like the disclaimer, click through it because I'm not going to stop doing the disclaimer because... That's the easy way to get age restricted, and that's the easy way to get your ch channel strike down and deleted. So yeah, enjoy the video. Bye. Is this thing on? A psych. I know it's on. I know it's on, y'all. Let me turn this fan down. But I am back for another video, y'all. And you see, we got this wide angle. It's not that wide, but I'm showing y'all my room right now. We're part of my room because. On this video, we are going to be doing a room tour, a room tour. Y'all see me film all these videos in my room. Might as well do a room tour. I got um a little J rolled up. A little J rolled up. And yeah, it's a mix of my gas I got in Toronto and a mix of my Philly gas. So we're going to go ahead and spark this up. And then I'm going to give y'all a room tour. I am. I'm I'm leaving this room soon, y'all. So I was like, let me let me give y'all a room tour before I start packing up my stuff.
before we start this room tour, let me oops, let me bring y'all down. Let me bring y'all. That's a little better. So yeah, y'all, this is my room so far, as you can see. You know, we gonna start over here. This is my bed, obviously. You know, where I sleep, where I rest my head. You know, shout out to this bed. I love this bed. Y'all see the bed. Nice queen size bed. No bed frame. It's really just a bed stand. You know, I'm real simple. Well, I was real simple when it came to this room. Over there is a closet. Yep, yep. Over there is a closet. Here, I'm going to take y'all with me. Down here, we got my nightstand. Let me show y'all. This is my nightstand, obviously. And that's my bed. You see, my nightstand has some books on it, my ashtray. It has a Lego Lamborghini. I have my water. And this over here, I don't know if I can see, but that says things. That's where I just put a bunch of random junk. Right now we got some washing machine cleaner, a blow dryer, a little light, laptop, belt, many more. Over here, just a bag with some Clorox and um, Lego Group. I have not finished putting the Lego Group together. It is actually Lego Venomized Group. Oh yeah, let me switch hands. So this is my closet, y'all. Now I'm not gonna show everything in my closet. This isn't the closet tour, but y'all see. Closet, I have some stuff on the top. Stored, you know, like some toilet paper, shoes, a bag, random stuff. Follow me. I'll see right there, I have a mirror next to my bed. And then under my bed, we have, as y'all can see, a little rug, a floor rug. And then that pillow is just there because sometimes I sit there while I watch TV. So, yeah. Y'all never see this part of my room because like the camera's always facing the other way. But here's my dresser. Um, there's four windows right here, as you can see, they're all covered. Actually, there's there's five, only only like four are in the frame. But yeah. So yeah, here's my dresser, my TV. It's a little TV, I know. I don't need a big TV. Only show I was on my dresser. I just have like um so over here I have like some lotion, my spray bottle for my hair, deodorant. Jamaican black castor oil. I don't put that in my hair, but I do have corns on my feet. And apparently that helps with corn, so that's why I have it. I am going to the doctor about my corn, so don't worry guys. We're gonna get it checked out. Um, I have a little mirror. I have some like fragrances, some Vaseline. Yes, I use Vaseline. I know it's not moisturizing. I'm working on stepping up my skincare, my lip care, my everything care. I will get better lip moisturizer soon. Um, my face moisturizer. Let me show y'all. My lady put me all to that. It's a good moisturizer. I'm gonna have an incense holder. Let me just let me sit y'all down right here because y'all can actually kind of see. So yeah, I got an incense holder. I don't have any incense right now. I have this fragrance. 
This is really good. Mason Margiela by the fireplace. Um, I have this. Y'all know they sold this brand in Target, and I didn't know. This is Ashley Tisdale from Disney Channel's brand, y'all. And they sell this in Target. But yeah, this is the lavender cloud like mist, and it smells so good. Um, it's that same brand, but this is the oil. It is bergamot and cedar, and it also smells really good. Um, I got this. I use this on my scalp from time to time when it gets like dirty, but like I don't want to wash it because I don't want to wash my hair every week. I feel like that's too often. I try to wash my hair like every three weeks, but it does get dirty in the meantime. So I use this for my scalp to like clean it off. Life hack, life hack. Um, I rarely use this lotion because it smells too fruity, but I still have it because sometimes I use it when my hands are dry. You know, a toothbrush for my edges. A lock brush. You know, I use this for my locks and my edges. Y'all y'all can't look, hold up, let me put this joint out. All right, like I was saying, y'all can't neglect the edges. Y'all gotta remember to brush the edges, guys. You need love and care. Love and care, love and care. But yeah, I use that brush on my locks and my edges. And this thing here with like these markers, this is just like one of those desk things that you use to like hold folders and stuff. But I don't want to pick it up. But yeah, y'all see it. It just has like random stuff in it. Some scissors, some shears, and like some regular scissors. Um a dab pen battery, little notebook, just random stuff. And obviously right here is my TV. Right here is like my can y'all see this my travel um toiletry bag it's just sitting here and like it has this little head wrapped in it and this bonnet over here i have some books angela davis the way back home the unkindness of ghosts i'm not gonna lie i haven't read much of this book i started it last year like last winter like january 2023 and it's good, but I haven't read more into it. Obviously, this is good. And I have this box in here. I'm not sure what's in there right now, to be honest. I never go in there. In this corner, I have a yoga block, a yoga mat, and then like another basket of just like random stuff. I hope the camera angles for these are decent. I'm just like holding around this tripod. Over here, I have my couch, you feel me, with shit on it, extra pillow. It used to be on my bed, but I take it off. Stuffy bunny, mini squishmallow, an extra blanket. This is some washing machine, washing machine cleaner that I want to throw in the wash tomorrow. This is my everyday bag. I want to get a new one. I don't know why I have it. This is too old. I've had it since 2021. It's time for it to retire. But nothing's really wrong with it, so I haven't retired it. Like, it still works fine. The Jan Sports are really good. Little trash can right here. Air purifier. Oh, sweet. I love this air purifier, but it needs a new filter. That's why it has the red light. So I'm going to get that off of Amazon. But yeah, y'all. That was pretty much my room tour. I think I showed y'all pretty much everything. See, it's not, it's real simple, not much decoration, you know, but it's organized. I like the space. All you really need is a comfy bed, a TV, in my eyes. You know, I could have went more hard on decoration, but I didn't. My next spot, I will, though. Well, that's span cinematic. I don't know. Tell me if it was in the comments. But I'm going to end the video here, y'all. I'm pretty faded. I was chiefing on that joint the mix joint the mix breed joint <laughs> but subscribe if you like the video yeah y'all know we on the way to 100k um what more can i say but yeah well i meant 100 i'm faded i said we're on the way to 100k one day 100k but 
next goal is a hundred. I don't know why I said a hundred K. But one day. So yeah, oh, I didn't show y'all. My hamper. Y'all probably saw it. But my hamper is next to the couch. Dirty clothes I'm gonna wash tomorrow. I do laundry twice a week, y'all. I usually do laundry on Tuesday or Thursday or like Tuesday or Friday. It's like it's like twice a week. But thanks for watching the video. And yeah. I'm probably just gonna go chill, watch some TV. It's Thursday, so happy Friday, Junior, y'all. Happy Friday, Junior. Happy Friday, Junior, y'all. Happy Friday, Junior. Happy Friday, Junior, y'all. But yeah. And I'm gonna chill. I had a good day today, a productive day today. Yeah. It's time for me to lay down. Peace.